What's up everyone, V here, and today I'm going to be reviewing the Marvel Legends Infinity Ultron Build-A-Figure Wave, She-Hulk, Attorney at Law. A figure which is actually really, really great. This might be one of the best Marvel Legends I've ever owned. But before we get into the figure herself, like, like every review, I'm going to briefly talk about my opinions on the source material, which is She-Hulk, Attorney at Law. Uh, I think it's, a, I like this show, okay, it's, it's not the best, like, um, it's definitely got some flaws, some of the episodes weren't as enjoyable as the others, but I still, like, overall enjoyed it, like, I don't think it's as bad as people are making it out to be, but, like, I can see why people might not like it, you know, giving it a ranking, I'd probably, it's definitely above what if, probably around the Falcon and Winter Soldier, in my opinion, maybe just a tad bit lower than that, but yeah, still really enjoyed it, and I loved She-Hulk in the show, Tatiana Masolani, I think that's how you say her name, she did a great job as She-Hulk, and uh, loved seeing more of the Hulks, it's great, but let's Stop talking about the show. Let's talk about this figure, god dang it. Let's take a look at the box. Window box. Oh, we'll be seeing, we'll be saying goodbye to that soon. Marvel Legends, She-Hulk, not attorney at law. A little odd how they completely forgot that. Disney, Hasbro. On the side, weird concept art glam shot of She-Hulk. At the top, She-Hulk flexing, Infinity Ultron, Four and up, warning. Uh, I guess there are some parts you could choke on. Same art, and on the back, the same art. And if it does, it's a little warped, so it's why the art might look weird. But it's questionable art. But uh, on the bottom, you got Infinity Ultron, all the other ones. We have done reviews on Moon Knight and Kate Bishop. Go check out those reviews. Both of those are really great figures. So far, this wave's been pretty phenomenal um so yeah i'll be hopefully getting mr knight miss marvel hawkeye and uh sharon carter soon and the bio reads attorney jennifer walters's life is forever changed when she suddenly gains hulk-like powers after an accident exposing her to the blood of her cousin bruce banner uh my favorite part of the show is hulk uh i actually love smart hulk and I'm mad that we don't have, like, a really good Smart Hulk Marvel Legends yet. We have the one Build-A-Figure from Endgame, but, like, that was... The head sculpt was questionable, and it was basically just a normal Hulk, because it's from the time travel scene. But we need, like, a proper, like, Smart Hulk before he disappears, because I really desperately need a new Hulk in my collection. See, so yeah, that's about it. You just got, like, basic backgrounds. This is the box. Let's bring in the figure, and if the setup looks a little weird, I have the camera raised way higher, because, you know, she is a, this, this, bringing in Kate Bishop, she's a, she's a big girl, this piece of fuzz, but yeah, talking about her accessories, she's actually, I think she actually has her accessories on her, which are her hands, um, we'll get to my complaint with the hands, but before that, we'll show her alternate hands, which are the clapping hands, from which she just goes pop, 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 all up on Bruce, and they're nicely sculpted, look pretty good. These were the hands that come default on her, but I prefer the uh, fists, obviously, and uh, that's it. She also comes with the uh, Infinity Ultron Build-A-Figure piece, which is just another leg, like Kate Bishop, she had the other leg. Um, looks good. I'm not going to go into an insane amount of detail about it because I definitely know I'll be completing this wave and building this guy, so he'll have his own review after I review all the figures from the wave. So stay tuned for that. Bringing in this figure. Now. I feel like she's the reason why the wave took so long to come out because I thought the whole wave was announced and the next thing I know... I'm like, why aren't they releasing the wave yet? And then I find out that they're She-Hulk. And I was like, god dang it, man. Why are they taking so long? But man, it was kind of worth it because this She-Hulk figure is amazing. This is definitely one of the best Marvel Legends I've ever had. And uh, I've been wanting a She-Hulk for a while because 
you know, I just want She-Hulk. She-Hulk's a cool character. But the only ones that exist are the uh, questionable older Marvel Legends and then the one She-Hulk that's most recent from the comics, but she's, like, in torn clothes. And I wanted, like, a proper suited-up one, and this is what this is. Um, I don't hate her design. Quickly going over the design itself, I wish they kind of did what they did for the design in Fortnite, where... Because, like, the weird short things, I know they probably wouldn't do the uh, look where it goes up like that, but if they just concealed the whole leg and just didn't have the shoulders, I feel like it would have been a way better design. That being said, still a great design. And let's get into the figure. That sounds a little wrong. But zooming in to get close to that head sculpt, that that is She-Hulk. That is Tatiana Maslany as She-Hulk. Again, sorry if I'm saying her name horrifically bad. I suck at pronouncing things. Can you tell I'm a little stupid? But yeah, the uh, photo reel is really great on that head. And it's not perfect because the hair is a little different. I think the uh, concept art has it more accurate. Yeah. It doesn't floosh up as high. But I kind of prefer this look. But honestly, I kind of wish they just made her hair curly, because she has curly hair in the show and it just magically straightens. I kind of wish they either just had, like, Jennifer Walters have straight hair, or they had she with curly hair. I feel like that would have been cool either way, because then it's a little weird that the hair just, like, magically gets straight. But yeah, face looks great, and the hair is sculpted really well and has a, a nice... I think it's either a green dry brush or it's green with like a black wash over it. But either way, it's got nice green and black highlights. Not picking it up too well on camera, but in person, it it stands out really well and it looks great. Coming down to her uh, weird tech suit thing, it's got a lot of nice texture. Like it's got the uh, texture throughout the main body portion. And the white's actually painted pretty well for white paint there's a little spotty up there then got that nice purple scattered throughout it has a bit of a different texture compared to this which is nice a little just white thing there and then the uh, neck is a separate piece so you don't got to worry about paint chipping and come down to the shoulders more nice sculpting they didn't but this is painted and they just they painted like it's more noticeable on this one like the line there and on the back really well but they just didn't paint the parts that you'd see the most. And, it, and I wish they kind of... I wish they did what they did with Kate Bishop with the arm cut. See how it's a lot more straight? And I wish they just had the cut where this is... I feel like it would have looked a lot better. But still, it's alright. And then come down to her arms. Nicely sculpted, you know, muscle, you know. But then come down to these tiny baby hands. I'm telling you, I think Moon Knight... Yeah, bringing in Moon Knight, he has a bigger fist than She-Hulk. It trips me out, because bringing in a Hulk, his hands are huge. So having her fist be so small, it's really strange, and that's like my least favorite part of this figure, because everything else is great. The figure feels great, it looks great, but these hands are just so tiny and pathetic. But yeah, they, they come back to the cake, and god damn she packing. Got a lot of got a lot of nice line work throughout the suit too, but man, cake the hell up and come down to these thunder thighs. Lord have mercy. And the uh, white paint is painted pretty well there. A little splotchy, but it is what it is. And I love how they did the uh, thigh cut too. It looks great. And I wish that's how the uh, arm cut would have been. It would have made it look a lot better. But yeah, I got same nice texturing throughout all that. And come down to the legs. Sculpted really well, nice and smooth, as, you know, skin is. I think those are just weird markings from being plastic. Then come down to her little shoes. Doesn't look like she's wearing socks. Then again, maybe the socks broke, I don't know. I don't know what brand of shoe this is, but eh, it's alright. Not the best looking, but it's painted really well. And then you got nothing there. So yeah, overall, figure... In my opinion looks great and it feels great too but articulation wise you're getting like the bare minimum out of that head i think it's a dumbbell joint but like come on the hair is basically coning it 
arm moves out about that far, rotates, bicep rotation, nice double jointed elbow, and when you bend it, it doesn't look atrocious like some figures. Hinge in and out and rotate, I think it's in and out for both hands. A diaphragm joint, which actually kind of moves forward and back, and the sculpt work actually goes up, revealing actually, if it would focus more detail because you got a weird line thing there that wasn't there before then you can bob her uh, upper body up and down rotate it so you can I don't know have this if you want some decrepit creature like that then you come to the legs kick about that far forward can't kick back at all cuz uh like we saw previously she's got the fattest of cakes I've seen on an action figure back there. She can do the splits pretty well. Thigh rotation, nice double jointed knee. Every time I want to say elbow, oh, I'm stupid. They got a nice hinge and a pretty good rocker. So she's got some really nice articulation and she's got a bit of height on her. Because bringing in, you already know who we're bringing in right now. We're bringing in the boys. Here she is next to Death Watch Mando for an average Black Series comparison and for an average Star Wars, not Star Wars, Transformers comparison, Voyager class, sh Seed Shockwave. It's not technically a Voyager, but it's a Voyager class sized figure that just had a bunch of add-ons to make it. It's basically the Optimus Prime. It's a Voyager class size, but they just gave him a bunch of stuff to make him a leader. And here she is next to Mr. Riddles himself and Master Chief, who I think both... Master Chief is definitely taller than her. So yeah, not as tall as you'd expect. Now, here she is next to some of previous reviews, Kate Bishop. And for some Hulk comparisons, here she is next to the, I'm pretty sure the only MCU abomination figure that exists. We, de we desperately need a new abomination. Still love this guy, though. But yeah, that is not accurate at all. And here she is next to the uh, Marvel Legends, the first 10 years studio, not studio series, Marvel Studios uh, Hulkbuster and Hulk 2-pack Hulk, which is just the Age of Ultron Hulk, but like painted to be like what he looked like during the Hulkbuster scene. And uh, yeah, he's got some height on her. I love the shade of green she has on. I hope we get a Hulk with this shade of green, because that looks great. And, uh, grab him real quick here. He, she is next to our next review, the Amazing Fantasy Spidey. And finally, for our last Hulk comparison, the uh, Gladiator Hulk Build-A-Figure. Boy, is he a beefy boy towers over her i hope to get that end game bath though because that'd probably go the best with her and finally here she is next to moon knight because you know we always show moon knight off in these videos and uh that's about it um do i recommend this figure hell yes when i got out of the box i was like oh i don't know if i see what everyone's saying about this figure but man, after owning it for like a week, I can safely say this is definitely one of the best Marvel Legends I've ever owned. She's She just feels so good. Like the figure feels great. It's just really great to pose, you know. One of the best uh, experiences I've had with a Marvel Legends, especially female Marvel Legends. Half the time, the arms are all really thin, the legs get warped, and you know... They don't have as much articulation, but she is packed to the limit, and it's just an overall great figure. One of the best Legends of the Year, no doubt, will probably be in my top 10 of the year, which I will be doing at the end of the year. Like, subscribe, check out my previous reviews, um, go follow my uh, Instagram, MoonNightXO, post weekend reels, and uh, the occasional uh, questionable mentality stuff on my story, so you know, great times, and, uh, yeah, I found this one at the wild, same day I actually got Amazing Fantasy, so, uh, yeah, he's gonna be the next review, spoiler alert, he's also a great figure, because Marvel Legends have been killing it 
recently. The past two years, ooh, they've just been hitting the spot with almost every Legends. And this is one of the best ones. C cements that this wave is one of the best Marvel Legends waves I've ever collected. So yeah, that's about it. Uh, hope you have a delectable day, and uh, let's give her the uh, clapping hands to end the uh, vid on, because why not, right? No. Hope you have a great day, and uh, better sh better watch out, she about to clap you, boy. I mean, honestly, I wouldn't, be, I wouldn't mind being clapped by a she-hog. Okay, let's end the video before I get too down and bad. Clap, clap, clap.